Hi, this is Itlali Tayon from Aldea News, and today we're here in City Hall because it's the first Feria del Libro Latinoamericano, or the first book fair of Latin American literature here in City Hall and in Philadelphia. So behind me you can see all the tables, the tents, you can see all the authors and their books. They'll be presenting also on stage. They'll be doing book readings and reciting poetry, and you will also be seeing like performances throughout the day. part of the committee too she she told me that she was very sad that there was no a book fair in Philadelphia so she wanted to just create something like that and I was like okay we can do something like that let's see if there are authors that, that want to participate so we we counted a bunch of authors and in the beginning we said maybe we're gonna have around 12 authors 10 to 12 and it's, um, we're just so happy that we have more than 30 authors now participating and we want to make this a big big event for next year too so my friend and colleague Brittany Ship, she's a meteorologist at NBC 10 she wrote this book a couple of years ago um, it's very encouraging it's for children um, really encouraging them to dream big and work hard and pursue those dreams so she approached me last year about um, translating the book and really wanting to sort of expand the message and I was immediately you know I couldn't say yes fast enough. I this is Arthur she's a high school Spanish teacher she's from Caracas Venezuela the story is very loosely based on our family I'm from New York okay. and um, we have three girls and a boy would come and visit us from Caracas. That it was written a few years ago, and so. But unfortunately, my wife is a teacher, and she was, and it's Hispanic Heritage Month, and they have a big event that she was not able to get out of, so she wasn't able to take off. Oh, that's nice that you came for her. Yeah. Um, I think this is a really great opportunity because our kids are getting a chance to experience Latino culture in Philly, which is so rich with so many different opportunities and you know we have a very we're very lucky to have a literature rich school um, and a lot of books that are accessible to us and so getting to see books written in Spanish and the wide range of genres and, and cultures represented here has been a fantastic opportunity for them. Oftentimes other other expressions are focused on more the arts and music um, but we're also writers yeah we're writers and we are we have a rich literary heritage um, we have Nobel Prize winners we have incredible writers so this promotes it and we want this to be an annual event do you like to read or do you like being on your phone more um, I like to read uh, what's your favorite book Hmm. Like I can manage my phone and my books because like I only have my phone when I'm like maybe at, at home at bedtime when my mom doesn't know. My mom sometimes makes me read but yeah I like reading. I have a phone but I like to read more than being on. A, like I like read all the time like even when I'm eating. 